Hi everyone, welcome to Homebody. I'm Felisa, your host for this video. So in this video, I am sharing my home office for fall. I have a couple of, well actually I have one update in the space and I added maybe two fall decor pieces in here for fall. Not much because I'm ready for Christmas. <laughs> so let me just tell you briefly what I've done to the space for fall. Of course, I'm going to start with this beautifully amazing chandelier from Oasis Lamps. It was actually gifted to me from Instagram and I love it, love it, love it. The previous one I had, it was beautiful, but it didn't make a statement and it also did not put out light. It didn't allow me to be able to see in here when I'm working or when I'm washing or when I'm crafting because this is actually my home office, my washroom and my craft area. And I'll show you guys that space is right behind me. I'll show you that space at the end of the video since it's nice and clean. <laughs> so yes, love this chandelier. These are true crystals here and they are beautiful. My husband put it up for me. He even put the crystals in the lighting. Super, super cute. Light bulbs did not come with it. I ordered those from Amazon, which was like 10 or 15 bucks or something like that. I am loving, loving, loving this chandelier. Of course, I'll have the link to it down below in the description box. So the wall art in the back on the black wall is actually from Home Goods. My lamp is from Walmart. The bar cart in the corner over with the lamp is actually from Home Goods. The vase, the floor vase in the other corner is actually from Z Gallery, and those sticks are from Home Goods. My chair is from Wayfair. The desk is also from Wayfair, but it's no longer available. And I have a mirror on the desk, actually from Hobby Lobby, and a candle that's from Thomas Ferrier. And I also have this remote here. This is a remote that controls my blinds. Oh, let me let me stop the other one. <laughs> let me go to number two. It controls the blinds. I don't have them all the way open um, today. I don't know. I think those are called a zebra zebra blinds. I'll place a link down below to those. They're from Amazon. And then going over here to this tree, this tree is actually from a store here in Houston that's closed down. It used to sell Christmas uh, decor. And so, yeah, it's closed down. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And love the rocks in here. This is actually from Amazon. I've already mentioned that. This one is Cricut. <laughs> so these are from Z Gallery. This wall art here is actually from Home Goods. The gold flowers here are also from Home Goods. The black and gold flowers are actually from Z Gallery. This vase was a gift for me. And the credenza sideboard is actually from Target. And I have extra candles and stuff in here. You know, I have a lot of crap around this house so I have a bunch of stuff just stored in these containers and this is actually from Burlington Burlington have some cute decor pieces loves don't sleep on Burlington panning on down to the ottomans my ottomans are from house and I saw that they had them at several other stores but they're out of stock because I was looking for a link to place to place in the description box for you. And I like these ottomans because they're also, you can store stuff. And I don't know what you're about to see, but I'm about to open this up so you can see what I have stored in here. Oh, I have bags and uh, looks like curtain tie bags and stuff like that. So yes, extra storage in these ottomans. They're very heavy duty. Stainless steel, uh, metal on the side. I love them. And I really like the fact that I have my walls black and then I'm tying in with the black with the ottomans and a couple more pieces in the room. My rug is from Well Woven. Let me tell you a story about this rug. Yesterday when my husband saw the lighting, 
I look down at the rug. I'm like, this rug is filthy. It has spots and stuff all over it. So I took it up and I put another rug down, but I didn't like it. It was a rug that I just had and I never used. So um, I didn't like it in the space. And if I can find a picture, I'll place it here to show you the rug that I'm talking about. Honey child, pulling that rug up so fast. My husband didn't want me to because he said it's a lot of work to move all this stuff. So I started doing it on my own and he eventually came in here and started helping. But um, I pulled it, the other one up. I put this one back down and I shampooed it. I have a shampoo that I had never used before and it and it came out really clean. Practically looks brand new. So yay for the carpet cleaner. My fireplace actually came from Wayfair. Um, the wall art over here came from Burlington and the little mirror sconces are from Burlington. My pumpkins that's on this fireplace are from Pier 1. You know, Pier 1 is closed down. They're no longer open. So at first, I had both of them flat. Let me show you. Yes, I'm using the candle as a riser. <laughs> yeah, you have to improvise. I had both of them flat, and that's not cute at all. I didn't like, mm-mm, that's not going to work. So I went and found this candle here. I should I wish I had a black candle this size, but I don't. Um, and I just set this on top of there, and that looks so much better with that candle, with that pumpkin sitting up higher and the other one sitting lower. And these gold and silver plants here are actually from Z Gallery. I've had them for several years. And I wanted to add some more in there, but I just kept it like that. Let's pan on around to my asymmetrical bookshelf. Now the lighting may get off a little bit over here unless I turn this way. The two vases on top of my bookshelf are from Home Goods. My bookends are from Z Gallery. The black vases are from Home Goods. And the Ming boxes from Z Gallery. And the tray at the bottom is from At Home. So that pretty much sums up the office perspective part of this space. Love, love that chandelier and the vibes that it's giving me. I cannot wait to put a Christmas tree in this room. Okay, so I told you guys earlier that this room serves as multiple purposes, which it does. One of the other purposes that it serves as is my wash area. If I take my camera and pan all the way around here, I'm going to pan all the way around here. And here's my washer and dryer, my wash area here. That's when my husband actually added those shelving in there for me, uh, of course, for more storage. And what I have in there is like extra candles and spray paint and just decor pieces and things like that. The little pieces that came that's on this shelf is actually from Home Goods, and those vases at the top are from Z Gallery. And I just have some little wash area items here. So yes, this room serves as my home office. Also my washer, oh Lord, I'm getting a uh, tight tongue, my laundry area. So also this room serves as a craft area. I have my Cricut machine in here, but when I wanna make you know, some labels or a t-shirt or a cup or something, I have my Cricut machine sitting over here. And this is the best place for it. This is an office, so I think that the best place for it is to go here. Now, this room also serves as my exercise room, but I don't have the um, items in the room for the tour. If I can, I don't, uh, I'll, I'll put them back in. I will put the exercise bike over here and it will be sticking out, taking up space, making my office look cluttered. <laughs> and then I'll put the treadmill, it's a folding treadmill that I can, that I'll just lean up against the wall and all I need to do is just unfold it when I get ready to, um, to use it. But yes, this room is my office, utility, washroom, and craft room and exercise room. So it's serving a lot of purposes. So I hope that this video inspired you guys. 
and uh, I'll leave the link down below to this beautiful chandelier. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.